This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message attempt to apply non-function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you a very simplified example on how to reproduce and fix this error message in R. So we can reproduce the error as you can see in line three of the code. So in this line of code, we are specifying the value two, then we are specifying a space, and then for some reason, we are specifying parentheses, and within these parentheses, we are specifying another value. However, we are not telling R what we want to do with those two values. And for that reason, if you execute line three of the code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the error message attempt to apply non-function is returned. So if we want to avoid this error message, we simply have to specify some operation between these two values. So for example, we could add a plus sign between these two values to tell R that we want to take the sum of these two values. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that a proper output is returned. So in this case, the sum of two plus three is equal to five. And the error message attempt to apply non-function is not returned anymore. So of course, what I have shown in this video is a very simple example. However, in your code, you might have a look for missing plus signs or for missing function specifications in case you are receiving this error message in your own syntax. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.